Is coming to Boston as the city is changing out its iconic gas lamps in favor of new LED lamps. This is a move to go green and to save a lot of money. But as Ken McLeod reports tonight, some neighbors wish the city had shed light on its plans before starting the work. This street lamp behind me may not grab your attention as being especially unique, but it's actually the first of its kind in the city, an effort to balance history, cost, and the environment. Those old gas-burning street lights, now in the city's crosshairs, certainly ooze colonial charm. Cost is not as important as how it affects the entire neighborhood. While the new look-alike LEDs cost way less to run and are much more eco-friendly. Not a fan at the end of the day, but I understand it. It's a prickly debate as the city looks to replace all 2,800 gas street lamps from Beacon Hill to the Back Bay to Charlestown because they cost nearly a million bucks a year to fuel and spew the greenhouse gases of more than a thousand cars. Our plan is to replace all of the all of the gas lights in Boston with LEDs. The city points to the climate crisis and the need to cut down on fossil fuels, but the LEDs also cost roughly 90% less to run with less maintenance. Yes, that sounds uh, like a happy solution for the world and for me. However, the Civic Association in Beacon Hill, home to roughly half the gas lights, wonders why the city hasn't requested its input and points to a delicate balance. Brick sidewalks and the, and the gas lights, we sort of re maintain that feeling of an historic neighborhood. We're happy to make changes where it makes sense to do so. So critical here is the look of the proposed replacements. This is the only LED replica gas lamp installed so far. In fact, it's still running off an extension cord in the Bay Village neighborhood on Shawmut Street. But our hope is that they will see what we see, which is uh, a wonderful way to preserve our history while also protecting our future. Side by side, the gas and LED lamps are virtually identical twins, something the city took pains to pull off. Yeah, I don't think that'll completely change the character of the neighborhood, though. I think it's still a pretty historical place, and that's one of the reasons I like living here. The city says it has no firm time frame for making the wholesale change as it weighs community response. But if you happen to be near Shawmut Street anytime soon, maybe you'll see the light. In Bay Village, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.